Welcome to CT Small Business Toolkit, where small business innovators and influencers share the advice that will help you turn your idea into a business and your business into a success. Let's get started. Budge, thanks so much for being with us. Well, I appreciate it, Craig. Thanks for your time today. Well, obviously, your mom was in charge of you earlier in life. Uh, how was the transition made uh, once you got into the business? Well, it's been interesting. You know, my mother founded a skincare company, La Crista Cosmetics, and she was able to get distribution into Walmart, Whole Foods, and she was very successful with the company. Um, so to make a long story short, you know, when I came out of college, my background was really within nutritional products, and that's always been my passion. And my mother had since sold the company, uh, La Crista, and I thought, you know what, I want to create a product on my own, and what better person to have as a basically a role model and someone working in the company is my mother, since she's kind of been down that route before. And so was there any trepidation on your part or her part about uh, going from the family relationship to the business relationship? That's funny. Not necessarily, because I grew up with a, with a household where... You know, everyone in my family, even my grandparents, have always worked for themselves and have hired family members. So we're kind of used to uh, dealing with people that are also family and also on a work basis. How did you define the roles once you decided to do this? Well, it's funny. In a family business, it's very interesting. You, know, you have to have uh, – everyone has their own dynamic. And my mother and I have very different personalities. She's a very outgoing, outspoken person. I'm a little bit more on the scientific side, more analytical. Um, of course, the product is the product that I created and I've formulated. And so we kind of naturally had set roles for each other. You know, my mother is great with contacting buyers, uh, following up with advertising, um, making the hard phone calls, if you will. You know, with me, I'm better with dealing with manufacturing, with the chemists, with the actual product itself. and picking avenues, if you will, as to where we want distribution and where we want to advertise the product. So you each kind of handle your own aspects of the business. There's not a lot of necessarily second-guessing each other, even though I'm sure you're both aware of what the other's doing. Exactly. I mean, there are times when we second-guess second guess each other. Uh, you know, with raising money, with um, a lot of aspects that um, there's a different – different mentality, if you will. My mother's a little bit more, I don't want to say old school, but when she ran La Crista, for example, the days of the Internet were really just beginning. Um, so I realized the importance, of course, of the website, and I have a, my own vision of where we want to place youth infusion in the marketplace, and certainly she has her ideas as well. So we do negotiate, we do sit down, and we go over everything, and we try to get, a, of course, a third-party unbiased opinion on everything we do. So was the harder part this uh, getting the getting used to working with each other, or was the harder part, if there was a harder part, being used to being back in a family environment when you weren't on the clock? Well, that's interesting. Um, working with each other directly, I guess, is probably the more unique experience. And of course, when my mother had La Crista, I, I was in school and. Uh, the difference, though, is when we are on family time, if we're at dinner together, if we're at a family event, I kind of grew up always talking about family business. And so that's really has not changed. It's kind of a natural conversation. My father, everyone will kind of chip in, and we just talk about business. So that was natural. Working with each other, kind of giving each other orders, that was a little bit different. And, of course, the premise of my last question might have been a little bit off because we've had uh, folks who run a family business and involve other members of the family on the podcast before. And one of the things uh, they've told us is you're never really off the clock, uh, even though you might not be at work or uh, specifically spending time focused on that. Your mind's always working and you need to be able to respond to issues at a moment's notice. And so that's something that the family, whether it's a mother and son relationship when you're both adults or families uh, of all ages need to be able to adjust to, correct? That is correct. I mean, one example, of course, is we'll be emailing back and forth at 7.30, 8 o'clock at night, and the other expects a quick answer. Well, of course, if it's an employee and not a family member, you don't necessarily do that and expect an answer because we realize that they're off the clock. So um, that is, I guess, a downside, if you will. But, of course, the upside is, you know, you can always be in constant contact, and when the issue arises, it can be solved uh, immediately. We're talking with Budge Collinson. He's the CEO of Infusion Sciences. His mom, Linda, is one of his employees. And we've been talking about uh, the unique aspect of having family members in the family business with you and, and what different dynamics that uh, includes. And uh, I know you've got a number of tips for making this work as smoothly as possible and trying to avoid 
uh, any sort of uh, hurt feelings or awkward situations, Budge. Uh, first of all, we talked about divided roles already. That's number one on your list. Number two is uh, seek outside advice because the mom might not necessarily uh, give you the unvarnished truth, even, even if she uh, tries to let you know what she really thinks, but in a really nice way. Exactly. Um, as I alluded to a little bit earlier, I, I think it's always important to have a third party's opinion, uh, whether uh, the graphic artist has presented a certain look for the box, if you will. It's nice to have other family members, other employees, um, friends, uh, people you meet at the gym, someone just say, give me your feedback on this. I mean, that, it really helps because uh, family is not always going to be uh, – blunt and truthful with you, of course, because they want to be polite as well. So it, it is important to have an outsider uh, put their two cents in. Number three on the list uh, is no family pictures in the office. And number five is office time is not family time. So uh, the idea there is to keep the two separate. But how easy or how difficult is that? It's not necessarily that difficult. You know, we each have our own office, of course. Um, you know, pictures and things like that on your desk, that's one thing. But pictures throughout common areas of the office, um, you know, that's all, it's all generic. It's, it's an office environment, which we're there to work. Um, and really, office time, not family time, in the sense that if there's any uh, family drama, if you will, we, we don't really discuss that while other employees are around. And that's at lunch hour, or that's in the evenings, or a weekend, or, or some other time. Um, so it, it has been fairly easy to manage. How long have you two been working together now? Well, we've been working together, I guess, since I incorporated in Fusion Sciences for about two years now. And have there been any uh, flare-ups in that time, or has it pretty much been smooth sailing? Well, I, I think I'm fortunate it's been pretty smooth sailing. And once again, I think it's because uh, uh, my mother and I have different personalities. I think if we were both type A, um, you know, there might be a little bit of a flare-up. But, you know, we have disagreements, of course. Everyone does. And um, ultimately, it's, it's my company, and she has understood that when she, when she started working for, for me. So, uh, it, Basically, I guess I get to call the final shots, if you will. Budge Collinson, CEO of Infusion Sciences, and Budge on your website, uh, youthinfusion.com. There's a blog on their company goals, family roles. So uh, you've definitely uh, put it out there that this is the structure of your company, and you're also trying to help others navigate that process as well. Uh, talk about the purpose of the blog and what type of reaction you've had to it. Now, the purpose of the blog really is is to try to create something unique. Um, growing up in a family business is something I'm used to. Um, throughout working out at the gym, my friends, I know a lot of family businesses out there. Um, that's really the heart of America. People start in a small company, and they, they grow, and they hire people that they can trust, who they know. And I thought, you know what, creating a blog that kind of explains the family dynamic would be essential to possibly helping others. And when I hear stories from other families, I'll try to include that, too, in the blog. And tell us a little bit about Youth Infusion. Youth Infusion basically is your everyday multivitamin. About a third of the population cannot swallow pills, so I created a product that is gluten-free, free of sugar, free of dyes and chemicals that most of your products are filled with these days. It's a natural effervescent uh, multivitamin formula that, it, with a focus on age man if, management, if you will. It's uh, endorsed by a prominent vascular surgeon, uh, Dr. John Martin, in, in the Annapolis, Maryland area. And it's a great product to take with you on the go to uh, replace the nutrients you lose during a workout with times under stress or just, just simply a daily multiple. And you mentioned no gluten and, and, and no sugar, yet how's the taste? Taste is great. Uh, the taste we have right now is tangerine. Uh, eventually, we'll launch different flavors, but it's a tangerine citrus blend, naturally sweetened, naturally flavored, and it's actually they, they, we've done an impeccable job at, at, uh, at narrowing down the taste. It's great. And what's been the uh, success of your business over the past couple of years? What type of growth have you seen? We've seen incredible growth. Uh, the numbers are, are year over end. We've we've really doubled sales since the first year. Um, you know, once again, we started with the, the age management, anti-aging community, if you will, and I presented it to some triathletes and marathon runners, and it's been very well received. And currently we're doing some exporting to South Korea and possibly um, even into other parts of Europe very soon. And uh, Budge, uh, those are sound like some pretty ambitious plans. Uh, you mentioned that the, there are going to be some additional flavors coming up soon. What other products are you kicking around? 
Well, it's quite possible that we will reintroduce the La Crista natural skin care products. Um, the most, uh, probably the most popular formula was the Dewberry Hand and Face Lotion, um, as well as the Almond Oil. And it's very, very quite possible that we will be relaunching those in six months to six to eight months. Um, so it'll be basically an entire line of products that are focused on pure health from the inside out, if you will. So nutrients for your body on the internal side, and of course, uh, natural skincare products for the external. Well, plenty to learn about by going to drinkyouthinfusion.com. You can learn about the family dynamics at the Company Goals Family Roles blog, and you can learn a whole lot about this very successful product that uh, Budge and his mom and his other uh, co-workers at Infusion Sciences have been successfully building over the last couple of years. Budge, thank you very much for being with us. Thanks, Greg. I appreciate your time today. Thanks for joining us on CT Small Business Toolkit. Be sure to visit our website, ct.walterskluwer.com, and follow at CT Corporation on Twitter. We'll see you next time on CT Small Business Toolkit.